In the following tutorial, I will show you how you can set up your grid inside Maya to match UDK. The first thing we need to talk about is the dimension scale of the character inside UDK. So if I jump over to UDK, here I have a very simple BSP brush scene. Here this little box is a character reference. So if uh, this is a simple brush uh, which measures 32 by 32 and height is 96. So the 96 units high is the scale of the character. So if I go into the side view, here is my brush, and each grid unit inside UDK right now is 16 units. 16 units equals to roughly about one foot inside UDK. So here on the bottom you can see that my grid is set to 16, and each grid unit is 16 units. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 16 times 6 is going to make it 96. Now back in Maya, we have one Maya unit, it equals to one Unreal unit. So it's one to one ratio. So now we're going to set up the grid so our grid matches exactly to uh, what we'll be using inside UDK. So inside Maya, this right now is the default grid. So if we go up to display grid, um, I have everything set to default. Reset settings, apply, close. So this is what you will see when you open up Maya. So first let me import the scale reference that we see here. So what I simply did, I just took this brush and I exported it as a static mesh and I'm going to open that box, the same scale box that we saw inside UDK, I'm going to open that up in Maya. This is a simple OBJ and this is just to show you uh, the scale reference and the comparison to Maya and UDK. So here I imported uh, the static mesh I exported it as a brush from UDK. Uh, you don't need to do this. I'm simply showing you this as an example. So this is the same box, the scale reference that we have here. And you can see that it's huge inside Maya. We can see that our grid is just way too tiny for uh, the default Maya grid to be used. So inside Maya this is 32 by 32 and 96 units in height. And so let's move this off to the side first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new box that's going to be the same dimensions it's going to match exactly this box. So if we go up and we create a simple cube and under scale X, Y, and Z I'm going to set this to 32, 96, 32. So you can see that one Maya unit equals to one Unreal unit and it's exactly the same as the exported brush from UDK. Now the next step is we need to set up our grid to match uh, the grid inside UDK and the way we do that is if we go up to display click on the grid options and under length and width this is simply the scale of the grid how big you want the grid to, uh, to be and uh, what area of the Maya interface you want it to cover in perspective viewport. So I'm going to set length and width to 512. I'm going to click apply so we can see that now our grid covers a larger area now that we can work with. Now the next option is grid lines every how many units. Uh, so I'm going to set this to 512 but we can change that and I'm going to show you uh, in just a second. So now we can see that grid lines every unit has changed and we can actually see each grid unit and it's more manageable. And for subdivisions I'm going to set this to 32 and I'm going to click apply. Now we can see that our grid changed and now we can see that uh, this scale reference box fits exactly right into this uh, two square unit grids. Now what do these numbers mean exactly and how do, does this reference back to UDK? So the numbers that I'm using are powers of 2. This is the very important part. Um, the, uh, the powers of 2 equal to the grid units inside UDK. So here if I change my grid unit you can see that they go from 2 to 4 to 8 to 16 and every time they multiply all the way to 256, 512, 1024. So these are the powers of 2 numbers that you want to use when you set up your grid inside Maya. If we take a look at the grid scenario that we have here, each grid unit right now is 16 units. And if we jump over to UDK, what we have here inside UDK matches exactly to what we have here in Maya. So 16 units for every grid unit, and jumping back over to Maya, we have 
every unit is 16 units inside Maya as well. So to figure out how many units each grid unit is inside Maya is if we take grid lines every unit which is 512 and we divide it by 32 which is the subdivisions. So we take that divided by 32 and it's going to give us a number 16 units for every grid unit. Now if we want to change our grid unit inside Maya to let's say we wanted to have uh, 32 units for each grid unit and all we need to do is we need to bump down the subdivisions to 16. Click apply and now each grid unit is going to equal 32 units and inside UDK uh, if we just simply bump up the grid to 32 this is what we are going to be left with and it's going to match exactly to Maya. So inside Maya you want to stay on the grid as you are creating your geometry in, uh, for UDK especially if uh, you're going to be creating modular pieces uh, for example a building that's going to snap together or other various architecture elements where uh, it's very important that one part snaps on top of the other so using this uh, grid setup you can change the grid units to match uh, exactly uh, so it matches back to UDK so if we want to switch this back to eight grid units per grid unit inside Maya we simply bump up the subdivision to 64 and again I'm using the powers of two and now if we zoom in we can see that each grid unit equals eight units and four of them make up 32. So to do this again really quick let me reset the settings and apply and close. So we have this box which is 32 by 32 by 96 units high inside Maya. So go back up to display grid options length and width this is the size of the grid so let's set, let's set length and width to 1024 cover the larger area grid lines every let's uh, we can set this to 512 and then subdivisions we're gonna set this at 32 this will give us every grid unit is going to equal 16 512 divided by 32 is going to give us 16 grid lines every unit you can change this value you can set it to 1024 again I'm using the powers of 2 uh, and but the subdivisions now uh, would be if we divide 1024 by 32 every grid unit is going to equal 32 so in order for us to change this to a lower value grid uh, we'd have to simply increase the value of subdivisions and thus giving us uh, every grid unit set to 16 so the important part is if you take grid lines every so many units and you divide that by subdivisions this will give you a value for every grid unit which will equal exactly to uh, UDK. So that is how you set up grid units to match from Maya and UDK.